Okay, hello everybody and in this video we're going to be talking about the Euclidean algorithm which is basically used in finding the GCD of two numbers. By GCD I mean the greatest common divider. So it has basically two points or two methods of finding the greatest common dividers which means there is the first postulate or the first point and then we have the second point. So the first point says that whenever we are finding a GCD of two numbers and either of the number is zero then the GCD is one of the number that is not zero. Say finding the GCD of A and zero, then the GCD will be A. The second point is when finding the GCDs of two numbers, say A and B, then the GCD is going to be B, is, equal, is going to be equal to the GCD of B and R, where R is the reminder of dividing A and B. So that's all we can talk about in the Euclidean algorithm. It's not a very complicated thing it's just very short then in implementing the algorithm in the Euclidean algorithm we're going to be using the C++ programming language but let's start with the pseudocode so the pseudocode is just a way of implementing an of implementing an algorithm which is not language specific so whoever is going to use whatever language is going to use is going to be to be able to read the pseudocode and be able to implement the algorithm in that pseudocode in any particular language that he or she is familiar with. So the, the pseudocode of implementing the Euclidean algorithm requires us to have five variables. The first variable is R1, the second is R2, A, B, and R. Then by starting, we're going to, to let or we're going to assign the value of R1 to become A and the value of R2 is going to be B. And then A and B are the values that are entered. So we are taking the example of GCD of A and B. So the first point is that we, we make R1, the variable R1, its value to be equal to the value of A, the number that was entered, and then R2 to be the other number that was entered. Then it says we are entering the while loop as long as R2 is greater than zero, which means any positive number, then we're going to do the following. First, we're going to find the quotient. The quotient is obtained by dividing R1 with R2. Then we're going to find the reminder. So from the reminder theorem is that to find the reminder, you just have to take the R1, then you have to minus the quotient times the R2, which we're going to assign the value of R1 to become R2 and then we're going to assign the value of R2 to become R. Then, as long as this loop goes on, when it comes to exit, when the value of R2 is equal or less than zero, and probably it's always going to be equal to zero, which means it does not obey this condition here, so zero is not greater than zero, then we're going to have the GCD, which is R1. That's going to be the GCD of A and B. So it's just that simple. Let's jump to the code in which is implemented in C++. So as usual, we're just going to include the input output standard string using the standard namespace and then declaring the first integer variables. They're going to be positive integers, but I haven't specified them here. I've just used any integer values. So the first variable is R1, R2, A, B, and R. So before we proceed into any further, further explanation, let's try and run the code and see how it's going to work. So that's it, it says enters the first number. Then I'm going to take it from the example we had in class, which is 2740 as the first number, and then 1760. So the GCD is 20 and it's correct. So the algorithm is working. And then for another test run, just for confirming the functionality, I'm going to use the first number as 65 and the other number as 25. So the GCD is five and that's the actual value of the GCD of 65 and 25. So the algorithm is working. So let's proceed. See, this is just a C out statement which tells the user enter the first number and then it takes C in A as the first value. Then it also tells the user to enter the second number and takes B as and inputs B as the second value. Then we come to assign as the pseudocode told us in the Euclidean algorithm that R1 is going to be equal to A 
and then R2 is going to be equal to B. Then as long as R2 is greater than 0, then R1 is going to be equal to the quotient of R1 and R2. And then I mean R is going to be the quotient of R1 and R2. So I've just commented out the actual procedure and used the modulus operator, which is much simpler since this is just the actual implementation of the code. So using this modulus operator, we're going to find the remainder instead of using the basic mathematical way, which is the remainder theorem as you can see above here. But simply we just use the modulus, this percentage sign modulus operator, which gives us the remainder of dividing R1 and R2. Then we are going to assign R1 to become R2 and then R2 is going to be R, which means every time it, it loops, it's going to change its value accordingly. And when R2 becomes zero, which means it has, does not obey this condition anymore, then we are going to exit the loop and it's going to print GCD of A comma B, which means we are finding the GCD of A and B is going to be equal to R1, which is the value of the GCD we have obtained. So that's easily implemented in C++. It's not a very complicated program. It's just the 28 line code. And see you next time when any other exercise or interesting thing has happened.